Hello and welcome to the Back Nine Course Breakdown, Ellison Park, Rochester, New York. If you haven't watched the Front Nine, click the button on top of the screen right now. Let's get into it. Hole 10, 325 feet, par 3, plays uphill. The basket's probably 15 feet higher from where you're throwing from because you have this hill right in the middle of the fairway. Lower power players are going to try to just crest the hill. It's better to be right than left because the pit of despair is on the right. You don't want to go down there. You're on the fast train to Bogiesburg. A better throw and somewhere up here. And even if you're pin high and have a great throw, you're pitting right into this pit. So this is a good hole to play for par. It's a great birdie to get. Don't end up in the pit of despair. Hole 11, 470 far. The first of two par fours on the back nine, you're going way up the hill. Two routes, left between the sycamores or right wide open. Great drives get up here by the tree. Your approach then is even steeper up the hill. The good play here is to throw something spiky that will dig into the green. Because as the drone swings around, you're going to see that basket's just on the crest of the hill and it gets a little bit treacherous putting sometimes. Hole 12, the signature hole of Ellison, 525, par 3, going way down the hill. You want to just tee off, empty your whole bag here. It's great. Common mistake, highs run out, way left, and that stinks. You want to throw kind of down the hill with something that will flip up, get a little bit of flex, and then dive back toward the basket. The green is slightly downhill. It makes approaches run away sometimes, and it's very protected from the right side with these low-hanging branches. It's kind of a tough par to get. The birdie is so sweet. Look at that hill. After 12, we take a little walk in the woods through this path to get to the very wooded tee shot for 13. 13 is probably the most demanding tee shot on the course and probably the hardest hole. 605 feet, it's a par four. The big issue with the tee shot is avoiding the sycamore left, getting up, and then moving left. You do not want to end up right because those pine trees are just awful and they run all the way to the basket. It's tough to avoid the low ceiling branches because it's slightly downhill, a little bit deceiving on the tee shot. A good drive ends up about here and left. You want to be left because the middle of the fairway has all these bushes on the right of the screen now, and that just kind of screws you up. Your approach should be a turnover or forehand that starts moving right about this willow tree and misses this guardian tree that's laying on a 45. The drone's gonna swing around the basket here and show you how precarious this green is. One of probably the only on the course that isn't just a wide open green. The basket is perched on the hill, roll aways, they happen and you can see there is no way to get to the basket from the right. 13's a great birdie to get. From 13, we're gonna go over to 14 from the hardest to the easiest. 264, you can throw something straight that finishes left. You can throw a gentle hyzer, you can throw a sharper hyzer. It's gonna pick your hyzer angle. It's a really nice righty backhand hole. The basket is just protected by these trees Ace is hard, but it's super easy to park this one. This is get your two and move on through. Hole 15, 368. It's a par three. Much easier now that the branch is gone. There's a wide hyzer. Most people don't take it. You're going to go straight up the gut. Above the grass, below the tree, keep penetrating straight. Once you're past the tree, it's pretty wide open. Easy green. Pretty easy to get to par if you miss the tree. It's a difficult birdie though, because you really got to penetrate straight for 360 feet. But there's the basket. Get your par, move on through. 
16, 365, similar distance, one tree you got to beat. Again, Heiser route, right. Left, you can go with a forehand or a big turnover or even roller, or you can try to go under this tree. Once you beat the one tree, it's wide open. This is another hole where it's a low power player can easily get a three. The two is tough because you got to really get it out there. The green's wide open, nothing to really mess with. Just get your three and, uh, you know, move on to the next hole, which is easy. Hole 17, 256. Go straight at it. Grab a putter or a mid, whatever you have that goes straight and throw it straight. That's pretty much it. There are big backdoor hyzer routes, both left and right, but those are just kind of for fun. Really, it's just get your straightest mid or putter and just throw it right at it. That's it. You can't really hyzer into it either left or right. It's just right there in front of you. This is an ace hole all day. Get that too or throw it in. Make me proud. Hole 18, we're here, we made it. 298, it's a par three. It is a tough hole, it's super touchy. You're really trying to contend with this one tree dead center with the branch going left. Most people are gonna try to go left or right of that. Forehand on the left side or turnover putter shot or maybe a putter or mid to the right side. Just that, don't hit that tree, that tree sucks. It is slightly downhill, so it's easy to get the distance. You know, you can, you can get, get a sneaky two on here if you get lucky. It's not the hardest hole. The green is kind of wide open. The basket is slightly elevated. It's a good hole. I like it. There you have it. The back nine at Ellison Park. Like or subscribe and subscribe. Either or if you want more disc golf videos and course breakdowns from NARPAR. Thank you for watching.